How do you deal with Axel zoning? Depends on your character, but the most important thing is to understand what his buttons are and what positions they can hit on screen. Some things to note about some characters, for instance, Giovanna does not care about his 5P. Like if you're Potemkin, you care about this move a lot. You see what I mean? So it depends on what, what character you are. So the main things he's gonna use to zone you are 2H, right? This is, you know, big grounded attack goes really far. 2S, this is an anti-air. 5P, right? And Rensen, bomb. One important thing about Rensen bomb is a lot of people block Rensen and then try to move and they get hit by this. So when you block Rensen, don't just dash right away. Wait to see if he's going to bomb or try something else. Another thing is when he does this into this, uh, you have to be careful if you're jumping because if this pulls you in, he's super plus. So be very careful about this. But more importantly, if you're closer to him, like if you run at him and then you jump or something, it might miss you depending on the position. Yeah, you can also delay the bomb. Uh, on Rensen. You have a little bit of time before you have to do it. Sometimes when you get hit by Rensen, then the bomb will hit you as you're trying to get up. So just be careful. How do you deal with this with uh, Nagoriyuki? Use your anti-projectile move, probably. I don't know if it clashes with Rensen or not. It probably does. It's important to note that what I'm showing you, it does not apply to one character. I'm giving you general advice so that you can go test these things yourself with your character. You can do the, the clone to beat Rensen. See that? Another thing is what I just said about like something like this, right? Is the same thing with Nagoriyuki where if you think he's going to do it, you know, or actually even better, you can probably just hit H or 5S if you think he's going to try to anti-air you. Oh, yeah. I baited his ass. You can do jump D to hide in the air like that. All of his moves are relatively long recovery after they whiff them. So you have a a pretty decent amount of time to approach after. That's like that with almost all of his moves that he wants to keep you out with. Same thing where if he's trying to keep you out with a move like this, or he's trying to keep you out with a move like that. So the main thing I would say to you is if he's trying to anti-air you, you should try to be approaching on the ground. If he's trying to hit you on the ground with these moves, then you should be jumping at him. Right? Does that make sense? And if he's using low commitment moves like this or this, you can use your own moves to check him on the ground. He's only going to be able to, to cover one position at a time, generally, right? Unless he's doing something like this. And if he's doing this, then you just have to run FD, run FD, run FD, run FD, and just work your way in. He's losing space. And then you're playing the same kind of game, which is, is he covering the ground? Is he covering the air? My opponent was good at adjusting preemptively, and I just kept getting schmixed. It sounds like... You fought a strong opponent and they had a good read about what you're doing. So you need to change it up and try some other tools. I'm doing a course and I'm teaching people how to play soul now. I've taken my first student to teach them how to play soul. So Troy is going to learn how to play soul. I think he's got the guts. I think he can play soul. Now I got to do the DeVry or the university online courses. Hello gamers. I'm here to teach you today how to play Guilty Gear.